I have Nikita's F1B mini Bernadoodles. There were two males in the litter, teal and orange ribbon. I'll go over their um, coat color and then I will let the boys play. So orange ribbon male is a chocolate merle. Um, so that means he has chocolate, tan, and a little bit of cream. Um, some of the brown, there's some white on his chest, and he's also a tri-merle, meaning that he does have the tri-markings. So the tri-markings would be right here on the face where there's tan, um, and then um, by the ears. And then he also has the tan and white, his little feet right there have little white spots on him, but this tan on his um, legs here. So this will be all tan, and then he's got the little white on his chest and on his feet. Um, he does have a wavy coat, great for allergies. He should be wavy to curly, full grown. Sometimes they stay just like this, and then sometimes they get a little more curly. All right, Teal, you want your turn, don't you? This is Teal Ribbon Male. He is black and white. He has this marking on his nest, which is called a Swiss Kiss. It's common in Bernadoodles and Bernese Mountain Dogs. Um, and then he also has a wavy coat. He's expected to be between a wavy and a curly full grown. Bernadoodles are usually all born with pink noses um, and then they start to either get chocolate or black. Um, the ones that are tricolor or black and white have a black nose and his is almost totally filled in. He has a little pink left um, and it just starts to fill in and change over time as the pigment, pigment comes in. Um, Orange Boy will actually have a chocolate nose. His is still pink, kind of starting to turn a little tan and then you can see like the corner right here is already chocolate. So his nose should be solid chocolate which is normal for um, any of the chocolates or reds or browns or tans, a lot of times their noses will be chocolate. For the black ones, um, their noses are black. So that's the difference between the two. They love people, love to be held, they're sweet boys. Um, they're definitely, um, they're pretty average for a mini size. Um, I would say average or small average for a mini size. Um, so I would expect just <laughs> I'm right on my lap. He's like, I'm not small, right? See, I'm not small. They're pretty much the same size. I believe they're just a few ounces apart, but I will post their weights. Um, I'll weigh them and get everything posted. But um, but I would say still plan on a typical mini size, usually 35 to 55. I'd be surprised if these got up to 55, uh, maybe more like 35 to 45 um, for these boys. I know with the females, there's one larger female and the rest are smaller. So she might be a little bigger, full grown. I know, all the kisses. I know, you guys just can't get enough of me, can you? Yes, you're good boys. 